They're not meeting on Sunday, you know, worshiping in a church. They know nothing of Easter or Christmas or any of the uh, Christian calendar. Vision presents Jim Tabor with comments on the Jewishness of Paul and the first century followers of Jesus. We keep basically a Jewish set of uh, standards and morals and we have a Jewish hope for the future. And I often tell my students, look, he's preaching the Hebrew God, Yahweh or Jehovah. He's telling the Gentiles about the Hebrew Bible, which it, it's translated into Greek, but it's essentially Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. So instead of reading about Zeus and Apollo and the Pantheon, they're gonna start telling Jewish stories. If you look at his letters, he refers to these stories as if they either know them or should know them. Our father Abraham, consider Isaac. Uh, he expects these so-called Gentiles or pagans to be very Judaized. And I think the evidence is that Gentiles generally conform to what would be seen as, by outsiders as a Judaic form of life. They're not meeting on Sunday, you know, worshiping in a church. They know nothing of Easter or Christmas or any of the uh, Christian calendar. They're going to be going to meetings on the Sabbath, the seventh day Sabbath. Uh, you could take a poll on the streets of America today and unless you're in Manhattan or Brooklyn, you know, what are the days of unleavened bread? Uh, most people would not be familiar with this term it's the seven days following the Passover. Paul and Luke writing expects everyone to know this. So in terms of the Sabbath day, the Jewish festivals, what I would call the general matrix of Jewish or Hebrew culture, these Gentiles are being brought into this.